D sides lockdowns have been solid for Vitality. They'll get tested here up con. First contact from Exertion, who's moved in. Mezzi's going to be gush, but there's plenty of Vitality players to handle this. Yeah, Brolin and Shue taking two between them. Flames able to follow up back here for Vitality. 3v3, and lots of time still left in this pistol round. And Apex is caught between three targets. His teammates going down, and finally Apex connecting another headshot. Zaiwu and Apex against Torzi and Shue to close the pistol round. Yeah, and Zaiwu's just showed up. Flipped ever closer to that B bomb site. Apex still in that awkward fight against Shuei. The battle of the in-game leaders goes down, and it's Shuei to win it. Zaiwu with no kid on his back. That is the big problem here for him. He's looking at short side. There's no peaks. No one from Malice wanting to offer him up an opportunity. We know it's one of the best pistol players in the world. And the time is the problem here for Zaiwu. He won't be able to win it, but he'll certainly walk away with both kills. Mao is about to try and split this B-bomb site. Zaiwu's chimed in with that off, and Spinks needs this. Recovers it. it. Was a little bit messy but eventually gets the kill required. Very messy. Now, Vitality have to be careful because the initial impulse, especially with pistols and weaker weapons, is to perhaps over-rotate. Mezzi slid over. Flame started cheating. He's hit the pause button because they're coming in con right now. Flashbang is out, but he had vision before it pops. Shuhei goes down. Oh, burning. Flames, he made to make a move, and he's got another, and Vitality respond as well. Schedule is the rest of the top squads, and you are going to see mistakes in this game. You are going to see them mess up and be scrappy, and it's great to have that honesty but we're seeing it so early. That's what happens when you don't have that time to go home. And, and Mao's once again attempting to split the eight bomb site. One through the palace, one through the ramp. And the main prong to the approach right into flames as it burns away. It evaporates as the T side of Malice is collapsing and flames his hands. And it's Yimpat alone at 1v4. Can't do much off the top of Tetris. He is topple. It also very much could be there's so much focus perhaps on trying to adhere to this new style and new playbook that they brought in that they're thinking so much about what the right and wrong of the tactic is that they're not playing the game itself. They're focused on something outside of it. Here comes the first contact. Impact catches Flames, distracted. One opening, one way back in here for the side of Mouse. Apex is burning, Apex is down. Mouse have recovered this into a three versus three, but Spinks from short, grabbing that kill back. Impact gone, just Brolin and Torsi now left. Plant is being secured as we speak, but Saiwu to close it alongside Messi. How walk we go for Vitality? Oh, Brolin getting through the smoke. Has to drop back in behind the cover. Exertion with the first kill of the round, but it's short-lived as Mezzi bites back immediately for Vitality, and they're going through the connector smoke. They're putting pressure on Brolin, who fights from jungle. He'll know that he's got to worry about window, and he got back to that shot, but he couldn't stop Mezzi. He's checked. Mezzi's had a great start into this pistol. Might be the man to close it as well. Still at the firebox. Sees another victim. Mezzi right between the eyes. It's a third kill of this pistol round. He's doing pretty much everything asked of him, and another shot for Messi, why not? Ruling by Royal Decree in the pistol, it's Messi. T-side, if you win the pistol, you don't have to play a whole lot of T-sided rounds, so he's got them out to that hot start. If they can sustain and convert this second round, all of a sudden, Vitality's living the dream. He was just landing everything. It was six shots from Messi right at the end, and Vitality. And Mouse, hold on. Torsi taking the initial damage at jungle. He's got a crossfire with his teammate, and it's rock hard right now for Mouse. Sphinx left in Palace. Vitality don't break them this time. And it's a flawless round in the end. 4K from Sh Steal Mouse's map pick away from them. Nuke up next. Vitality's map pick. Inferno the decider in the series. Hit to know that it's coming ahead of time. Oh, it's coming through the smoke. Flames is already through, and Brolin had no idea. Was not ready for that. So, Exertion has to step up in his stead, and a double kill will keep Mouse in this fight. But with a minute left on the clock, Vitality see this as a chance. And they want to seize that chance. They want to close this map, but Shuei says no to Sphinx. Still two players left. Apex, one of them. The impact dropped. You'll play from jungle instead. They'll let this bomb plant go down. And now it's about a retake, and Shuei was caught in the open. It's just Torsi left. Apex with a 3k so far, but Torsi looks to stop them, and he just won't do it. Vitality. In Vitality taking this part of the map. 
Apex with space to play with, but that space is taken away. It's a vacuum. As Zaiwu, second shot on that P250, but towards you off the top, ripped away by Mezzi. It's a 3v2 with Vitality favored on numbers, but that is only P250. Make the difference in a pistol round. Not this time, though, as it is a clean finish. Apex just jumping, always a risk. They go outside, but they get info. They get info very quickly, and it's a little too risky in the end for Apex. Exertion cut down, but the rest of his support network is there to ensure that Miles are off to a good start in this round four. Where everyone probably left their PCs on the stage feeling like they didn't actually play a game of Counter-Strike. Spotted the boost. Brolin now calls out the position of Mezzi as well. No need to attack into him. Just chip at him away with utility. Everyone by, from Vitality is here. They're gonna swarm one last kill. And four to nothing for Mal's. 45 seconds remain in this round. Vitality must convert this 5v4 now. Flash to Exertion, turns away. The drop from Flames is not quick enough. And Exertion is doing so much work on his own, and he's still alive until finally dealt with from Sai Wu. Oh, Jimmy's oh, still oh, here. He checked it, he checked it. Look in the other direction. Really have to challenge it. All together, considering they have a man advantage. Oh. And they fall right back. They get lost between attacking outside and falling back. Spinks is able to get a double, but Shuei recovers. Yeah, Spinks peels back as well, but not without taking damage in those first fights. He's 25 health left, 2v3 to try and convert here for Vitality. But it's Zaiwu on the AWP. And he's still alive. He's still on the server. And so there's a chance here for Vitality. They line up, but Zaiwu takes down Torsi in reply. And now they know it's up against. Sees that second player. Couldn't grab his chance on the 5-7. On the first time of asking, but Zaiwu will get the second. And it's down to a 1v1. It's also about the, what positioning he takes. So now he's going to have to be oh. concerned. Oh, is he going to wrap all the way is around? Is he going to wrap? Oh, dude, Yimpat's walking right next to him. He's got his gun out. Now Zaiwu sees him, but he gets around the corner just in time. He's playing with him in an awkward fight, and Yimpat still in the lockers, still around that corner, and Yimpat stays cool in the clutch against the Wu. Five rounds. Considering the start, it's been a fantastic recovery from Vitality. Yimpat doing what he can from the double doors. Let's see if he can double up. Well, he's going to need his teammates to come join him if they want to swing out to the... Oh, single door, there's one, and... Plant does go down. Zaiwu and Spinks 2v2, but thankfully the bomb plant completed. Well, Zaiwu knows where both players are, has a 1v1 fight, but can't win it. And it puts it all on Spinks, and they know he was the player on the upper bomb site. But where is he gone? He's in the vent now. He's coming down towards Decon. And that defuse isn't happening. Spinks plays from Decon through the smoke. Brolin dead first. Just Yimpat. No kid. Can Springs close this half with a fifth round for Vitality? Tap on that defuse, Yimpat off it, and without a kit, there's no hope. There's no chance. He's gonna get back on it again, but the time is so thin, and Spinks rounds it out. Generous with the comeback designation. Yeah, we really are. All right, there's oh. a first kill for Messi, but Spinks is traded off very, very quickly without any kind of fight. Yeah, blow for blow, back and forth, but Messi again, man. There's just something about him today, and these pistol rounds, he's Ooh. just so good. When he's got this is one of his strongest maps on the CT side. Yeah. You've got a lot of obstacles in front of you if you're Mouse. Crispy shots from Mezzi. Grip. So back to the bomb site. Spinks is coming down to watch that fight. That'll allow Zywo to adjust his gaze into the bomb site itself. But towards the instant trade. Spinks in the vent doing great work to stop exertion. But he took damage on board. Half of his health is gone. 3v3. And good spam here from Flames. It's not a lot of damage. Softens him up a little bit. Door's gonna get blown open. Retake hasn't begun yet, but they want to apply a little bit of pressure. Tough situation for Spinks. Yeah, utility on the back of Apex. One kit on Flames. Spinks close to the smoke at double door against Shuei, and that's gonna work out perfectly for Malz. It's just Flames left, and he's not in a position to win this round. He has to retreat. Malz are fighting back in the second map as they take a step closer to evening out this quarterfinal. Surely that's gotta be something that Vitality are aware of, though. A possibility that the player could be in there. Apex on the rafters, Messi plays in below him. Problem is, you don't have, with that pick, you can only put two players to defend this site. Messi did well, he needs a second, can't do it. So Apex is up next, off the rafters with one, a single kill, flames through the foot, up the vent, second chance, taking out by Exertion, and it's on Zywu to close it, to get into overtime. He'll climb up into towards heaven, and this deity of Counter-Strike has a 1v1. The natural steps up with a deagle. Torsi plays 
from inside of the hut, and Zaiwu just can't find him. Torsi must be just pounding at this point, trying to figure out where Zaiwu's gone. This is his comfort ground. Zaiwu loves to clutch inside of this A site. So, oh, he's forced into the open, and he can't stop it. It's going to be Mao sending us to map three. This series deserves it. They want to use it. If they want to use it for these sandbags, it'd be sick. Going to come around the corner. Nice, oh. easy double kill. Flashes out to activate. But Rust of Mouse has fallen all the way back. They saw it coming. They're two steps ahead, and there are two frags ahead in the pistol. Yeah, we know Vitality likes to go for that little bit and switch out of the sandbags in the pistol. Apex is, oh my god, oh my god, Exertion eventually turning around the back, and that will be a little frustrating for Apex. We'll see if Vitality choose to buy up in the second round. Oh, damn. Yeah, they got shot. a lot of weapons being taken away from him right at the end of the day. Exertion's going to continue the hunt on just as Sphinx bails out. This is for the ace as well. Exertion's got everything so far. Sphinx is not really allowing him to get the glory of all five. Definitely looked like it registered, at least it should have, but Zaiwu chiming in. A shot at long goes down on Brawl and sees his second victim, and Shuei peaked with grenades in hand. So finally, Vitality into a position where they surely can't lose the round. They just keep catching opponents with hands busy. Impact takes damage on board, he gets dinked. So finally, Vitality will get off the goose egg, they'll get off zero. It's a bummer of a round to give up if you're Mao's, though. You would have loved to have done some damage and taken two, three kills in this round to drain the economy. Yimpat going to try and survive being flanked out from alt mid. Flamesy should have that, and he does. Top mid, watched by Zaiwu. Oh, Shuei gets beyond the scope. Spinks peeks out. One kill from Space. Would have loved to second, but just not afforded that luxury. Now Zaiwu under pressure. Flash is connected. Zaiwu's about to go down, but he gets into the site. Backed up by Mezzi. And it's, he's done very well to keep Vitality in this fight. But the problem is Mezzi goes down. There's just too many targets, too many problems. And Mouse just sandwiched them. But it's still winnable. It's around the Flames can certainly pick up, but they know where he's coming from. And that's a problem. He'll deploy the smoke as cover to get into the bomb site. Sphinx jumps up. Good first kill. Can't Flames do this? 1v1 against Yimpat. And he's down to 1 HP, but he retreats. He gets away. He's given himself a chance. It's all down to timing now. But Yimpat, we've seen him so good. He's been good in these clutches today as well. Does he have the read? Does he sense the timing? This is good. Flames is reposition. It's perfect. It has to be effective trading because you should see Exertion die here. He's playing to the elevated position, just too much to handle. That's Exertion goes down, bomb now down, and Mel is very much committed in the top banana fights. Oh my god, Flames, he just ran through, blinded right into the open. Yimpat's easily dealt with that. Now Apex will retreat down into the darkness, but his teammates are coming back. But for the meantime, it is Apex alone. Yeah, Mal's have to get in here. They have to find this kill quick and clean. Good flash from Zaiwu. Apex will peek off that. They're not entering the site just yet. They know clean oh. kill. Not good enough. Not good enough at all from Vitality. They have lost the player advantage. Drawn back by Zaiwu. All right, here's Messi catching impact, distracted as well. Suddenly they're back into it, but Brolin begins to brawl. He's down to 8 HP. He gets away. He gets back to the back of the new box, and this is cover Ball's that off. he can work with. But yeah, utility, low HP is not good. And Brolin got the headshot before he went down. Brolin with the last second. But the individual prowess from Maus has arrived, and you add on Shuei's calling on this map. He had one option, one option. As soon as that fire comes in, he knows he has to land the headshot. And this might cost him. They're being sandwiched in. Mouse have everybody ready for what is going to be a B attempt from Vitality. It's a good start to the rounds here from Flames. Answered back by Poland on the Joe Barretta's. That banana flank is swift, and I don't oh, know the if they're going to be ready for it, but the bomb is down, and Vitality crumbling. He restores it. He's got a double, finally silenced by Saiwu, but he needs more. And of course, he'll provide it. It's just Brolin left. 1v2, bomb not planted. If he takes a breather and allows this round to play out, then perhaps he'll have a chance again, but Vitality needs... Because there's not a lot of time left in this round. 25 seconds. While well, Space goes down, that should make the decision now very easy. Try and finish this B-bomb side off. And their problem, their nuisance, the pain of their existence is exertion. And he's only got one this time. Yimpat on the follow-up. It's 2v3. And Mezzi can swing off of him as well. Better pray that Apex can step up here, Mezzi. Yeah, alongside of him, they look to breach. They've got himself a double, and it's a good double from Apex. A time to strike. Yimpat against Messi. Messi's been quiet, but this would be a loud moment if he's able to step up that defuse. He's just sticking it. Oh yeah, you like that? Yimpat comes he's off. Got it. It. He's got the headshot and the time. He's gonna hold it. No kid on his back, but he doesn't care. Finished. It's on this A bomb site, so let's pounce through the top mid smoke. And they've got a lot of control here. In fact, Flames is gonna wrap. A round long, 
Sees one player drop into the pit, but that is good work from Yimpat. First is good, Sayu drops. Yimpat, that's what we're talking about. He steps up, finally Mouse are going to break through once again. Shuhei playing outside of the V bomb site. If Vitality hit this timing strong enough, it's a five on five retake, oh. but there we go. Good advantage found. That's an important kill for Shuhei. Keeps Mouse ahead, and look at the damage done. And because that molly that they threw down, it actually slowed the attack in from Vitality. Exertion's got another one. Is this it for Vitality in Rio? Bomb plank being planted, and now we've got a 3v4 that they must recover in a post plant. Zyru better step up here. He's got another smoke to put down, but he shadow. wants to fight. He sees the shadow. Apex is going to re-smoke towards CT. One more smoke going to come out to Coffins, and that should be it. That should be the winning pieces of utility. Oh, oh but Zyru is peeking. The impact again. Oh, God, this kid, he can't be stopped. Should be able to grab a couple. Norbert, the point man. An opportunity for that Farmass to fill the feed, but he's empty-handed after the first. Norbert oh. does go down clean from the 5-7 of Imit. Fish Bosh. Yeah, and actually, I love this. I love this reaggress. There's no way Electronic's going to have this internal timer. The fact he's here so soon, it could be another headshot. It is. Puts Electronic on notice. One more could do it, and he finds it. Double headshot, double kill. Ime relocates back out bout. Still has some control. A flash to regain some of that, but peeks into Jane. And it puts us into a 2v2. Where's that bomb going? Well, it was spotted at least, and through the smoke, Jail what? punishes Split. Jame now at a one on two. Has information on one of the members. Bro, he's got everything. Every single nade, every single point of health. And two opponents to find. Can Jane get the raw out of Rio? Round two doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. Na'Vi ahead of the swing, so he has more fallback options. Incendiary at 30 seconds. Fame pushes through it. Keeps some pressure on. Applies it towards Wonderful. But Imet and Bit, they combine. They catch one on either side. Short and long shut down. Norbert and Fame, no more. Double flash for the pit setup. I like this idea from Electronic, but you can see he's got too many bodies to worry about. How is he supposed to isolate independent jewels? Wonderful will catch Flit and just piece by piece, play out by play out, they run into this brick wall. This is clearly part of the game plan for Na'Vi. Here they come. Incendiary is perfectly timed, obscured by the smoke though, and him is going to get pushed on. Oh, how has he found that one? Just in a vision, <laughs> and he fades to black for fame. Takes the head off, double kill from Ima. Electronic stands and bangs, important kill. Oh, he's exposed. The spam can find him, doesn't find it. Ima unable to disrupt the plant, a 3v2 for Jamin Electronic. Jamin and Electronic are on top of each other. Okay, maybe this reposition is pretty strong. On the pull, in the smoke, trying to whittle away as much time as they can. Wonderful, clears out Jame. Electronic does not have the health to win up this clutch, but a nice headshot, oh, a chance. Bit gets the necessary frag, and it's still, like, full, fl full flashed. Someone maybe just says, shoot, you're on the radar, you know. Incredible work from him, and the fact that he goes hunting, he nearly had three there. I mean, he was looking for Electronic. And that's what I mean, though, the fact that he's uh, been quite aggressive for these fights. Yeah. They get their space this time, Norbert and Electronic. This is nice. Apartment's not closed, and the double swing, oh. huge. The MAC-10 at range with the Goosh, the trade is there. Bit stems the bleed. If he peeks in, though, Norbert, he's just given Bit a freebie. They don't give VP the space. Oh, oh, oh 100 damage or thereabouts from the HE onto Fame and Jame. Flit, however, again onto Alexi. Well, if you got a headshot, JL does well. Fame does not have oh. the weapon, and JL, glorious defensive B. One more bullet, puts it into Jame. Partial bite. Loss bonus is in play for VP, but I can see the purchase is starting to take shape. And this isn't an unfamiliar place for them to find themselves with a couple of Tech Nines and some AKs, right? This is normally how they find themselves if they save these type of weapons. So. Let's see what they can get done. Three VP have more than enough utility to go for a full set piece. CT, Coffins, Molly's galore, but a essentially dry swing. Completely ahead of it. Flit trying to get early info, loses his head now. It's a 4v4. They've lost their advantage. They're still committing. The util, the swing, Alexi B1. Overlook perhaps. Yes, Bit baited in. Oh, the beautiful team play. Alexi sets up Bit for success. Well, right now, gold is what they're looking for. Bit. Oh. Oh. Chance to the side of the head, Norbert gets him, and yeah, that is a bit of a face palm for poor Bit. But it was Norbert, that's information in itself. Uh, Electronic has actually nailed it, he's alone here, and he's managed to repel the first. You need a plan. He's oh. hitting every shot, Electronic, the one-man army. Can't disrupt the plant. Na'Vi will at least get that, but a pistol, surely too much to ask of these two. It's just JL, it's just JL. 
on that graveyard position. A clean click for the first, converted back by Norbert. See, this is the perfect example of what the half wall smoke can facilitate and Flitz boosted up. A chance, a trade. And a four on four to start. Fane isolated, but Bit will catch the aggressor. Towards apartments, Electronic goes down. Now they start to just turn up the heat on Fame. This one man, oh, and he gets away with murder there. Fully flashy delivers, and he gets himself a second as well. 1v3. Imer in the clutch to make this the last round on Inferno is Imer. Norbert taking his sweet time. Jane, procedural bomb, ticking away. Time sensitive mission, he has a Molotov. He pushes off for Jane <laughs> through the smoke, and now Norbert. Smoke on the bomb will get him nervous. Imer can overplay his hand here. Takes ah! the hand! Number one, and changing right here, right now. James extends their advantage. It's gonna be three for three in the pistol department. Looks that way. It's taken shape. It's only Alexi. He'd love a plant. Trying to get some use out of his Molotov. Perhaps so. he could try and punch in the code. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. From behind, he goes down. Or was it actually fame? Wonderful, that's the bomb. He's gonna have to be really careful because if he dies with this, the round is over. Oh, my catch and boosting. Oh, oh, wonderful, wonderful with two. Lovely timing on his peak, but the bomb is lost. And James holding for this legit position. If you come peak in heaven, Bit, you're a dead man walking. Alexi goes down, trade is there, Bit. Gets away from the James angle, peeking back into it with a missed shot. Red Room, though, should find it. Norbert with his second, JL yet to frag and a chance to do so. Oh, that's the JL signature one tap. James is next victim, and he clutches up to get Na'Vi on the board. And look, I love the proactive nature from VP, but they've overcooked here. Stepped up. Mm. That one's tasty from JL. And look, it appears that VP had the same conversation that. Missed shot. Actually, Imma gets away with one, but Electronic had his chance for the double. He dinks up Alexi, and JL and Alexi working with just 30 points of health combined. It's not ideal. It's not looking winnable. For Na'Vi's final 30 second for Ray. Heading over towards B. Angle held on long side. Too many angles to clear. JL, what can you do? Both of them low HP. You'd love a bomb plant, but you can't get past this line. Drawn in the sand by VP. We saw it just uh, miss and that allows Electronic to get up. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be frustrating. Slumps down in his chair. Well, yeah, because you taking map control is predicated on your teammates landing the utility correctly. To set you up so that your flight path is, like, ironed out. You know what is possible. Exactly. You want to limit the amount of four finals they lost to G2. Oh, and Emma has opened up the account in middle. Wonderful catches the A main push. Flick oh. completely overlooked. A lazy clear from Bit. But B's clear. Yeah, so they've definitely solved the mystery. Norbert trying to block, but I think he's going to be tested. Gets away with one. Can't do two. Imet with an AWP, no less. Picks it up off of Wonderful. Uses it to great success. Oh, hello. JL catches a whiff. Still no, they don't. They don't hear the scope. So JL's a sitting duck. No smoke grenade, he's hoping he could find one. And down before the incendiary can bloom. They're not fighting down on this fake. No, they've got the positions necessary. Wonderful does confirm it. Oh, Bit, he over swings that, but still has the aim to back it up. Good shots from Jame. Jame, a double kill back. Fame plants the bomb. Jame exposed by the HG clear. The fact they've got a HG is crazy. Emma through the flames. It's up to Norbert now. Where's the bomb? They get on it. Norbert, a main. He's got a 10 second defuse. Alexi's calling for help. The defuse is on. He's confirmed it. He has to peek deny with the smoke to cover. And it will be a Na'Vi pistol. But you have to get past Alexi B. The smoke obscures Wonderful's assistance. Alexi tucks deep into Cubby. Oh, the util. Wonderful with 20 seconds left. He can just molly the plant. Norbert fakes it out. They don't clear their corners. It's just messy from Vertus Pro. 15 seconds. You have to plant. There's no one to cover you. Good clear from Flit. 10 seconds. Someone needs to be punching in that code. Jame is that guy. Gets it down. And Flit quicked on the flank. They're not looking at this pot potential just yet. Jame distracts. Flash through. Only JL. Have they really recovered this? Playing a dangerous game. A couple of seconds to spare, but hang on a second! Oh! JL! It was always JL! Comes through with a 1v2! 11 to 7, Na'Vi in the driver's seat, yet to drop a round. 
three consecutive now with just one player staying alive for this defense, but still spotless. A must-win round for VP, and as you said, chasing their tail. The bomb's heading B. Wonderful perhaps gets a freebie. Yeah, back of the head. Jane did not catch the scope. And the reaction's interesting. So Electronics burrowed into A. He's saying, boys, there's no one here. But I, I don't like this for no, VP. No, no, the path back to A is terrifying. And you don't look, know anything. they're worried about everything. They're giving over sound cues with defensive utility to Elbow. It's so telegraphed. I know exactly ah. what's up. Maybe Electronic can save him. He's going to get cleared out. Wonderful. Let's hit the shot. Oh, man. I missed one from the orb. One plant going to be interesting. JL takes down Nor, but this is falling through their fingers here. Wonderful still has an orb on Donut. Electronic's a dead man. They give him the bomb and say try. Try and plant, but they're both here. And he's just going to give it a go. Wonderful peek through. A comfortable collection. This is messy. Nine seconds. Jane just has to bring the oh. fight. And Wonderful does not miss. And they've got no resistance mid. There it goes. And doesn't do anything. Norbert has full vision. Unloads his magazine. It's going to feel great. Four kills. Sprays them all down. Give him the ace. Norbert. An ace. Electronic out mid. And he will. Red. Not cleared. Electronic finds him in. Oh. oh! Through the smoke bit finds it. Huge trade. Massive trade. Despite a missed smoke from VP. It's a four on four. Bit has kept Na'Vi in it. To win it. In just the... 24th round of Ancient, Another a miss red, VP. They're off kilter, they're wobbly. They're missing some fundamentals, and oh, it, should no! have, it should have led to the death of Jame. Bit lets it go. Wonderful catch fame on Donut. Now Jame posted for the JL surge, and JL has managed to best the AWPA. It falls now onto the shoulders of Flit and Norbert. Holding the smoke is Alexi, and he's going to catch him walking through. Only Flit remains. And VP's hopes of replicating in Rio hang on one man's shoulders. One man to keep the dream alive. Up against three. JL goes looking. JL searching. JL finds it. And VP knocks.